All right, and a good Sunday to you. Welcome to another episode of JD's Deep Cut Sunday Tracks, where we will explore and unearth um, lost uh, artists, uh, lost songs, songs that fell into the cracks, between the cracks, like they say. Um, just, you know, artists and good music that is, has not been heard in, in years. And I'm going out on a limb here. It's been about years since anybody's heard of Harry Chapin, okay? Um, the only song I used to hear from him is uh, The Cats in the Cradle, okay? And I guarantee you 92% of the time, nobody knew who sang that song. You know, The Cats in the Cradle and The Silver Spoon, Little Boy, you know, that, that song. <laughs> nobody, I guarantee you, nobody knew who sang that song. It was Harry Chapin. But that's not the song I'm going to talk about today, okay? And um, this artist was huge in the 70s. Um, a little bit of the early 80s, but I'm talking about Harry Chapman. Um, the, his first album, Heads and Tails, okay? This album got his, garnered his first hit. Um, again, we're not talking about the hits here, okay? Um, we're not talking about Cats in the Cradle, okay? And it wasn't Al Stewart, The Year of the Cat, either, which I do need to do an episode on him. Um, but we're talking about Harry Chapman now. I love the Sunday episode because it is about folk rock, um, a little bit of pop, you know. In this case, uh, Harry Chapman, singer-songwriter extraordinaire, did a lot of folk rock with some pop in there. He had a great band, really good band, uh, mind you. Um, his brother played in the band, played the keyboards, okay. Um, but Harry Chapman, the song we're talking about is Greyhound very poet poetic uh, you know almost like a spoken word album um, really good taxi's a great song uh, if you get a chance to listen to that song taxi but greyhound greyhound um, is a great song it's a mesh between you know pop folk has some drums in there um, guess who produced this album he was on electro records okay this is the album here okay heads and tails and tales as in not tales of the other side of the coin but tales as a tale that was written okay i love the back cover of course you know great um may he rest in peace may he rest in peace harry i'll be seeing you one day on the other side okay where that may be um but uh steve Chapin, his brother played the key keyboards uh piano okay um Jack Holzman, producer of this album. Guess who Jack Holzman was? He was no other than the founder, CEO of Electro Records. Okay. Can you believe that? He also founded Nonsuch Records. Um, XTC was on that label. Executive uh, who semi-discovered the CD, the VHS, uh, was part of MTV, all this stuff. Um, this is a really good um, pressing because I happened to get the 3D um, pressing. You know, it's a fold, thin fold. You know, you got a great cover here, 3D cover. I happened to come across the, uh, the lyrics, um, what they call, you know, the inlay of the album, okay, die cut lyrics. Uh, cover photo here. Check this out. This is amazing. You know, I got the lyrics here. I got the picture, the photo. Okay, two photos. Okay. Um, I got the lyrics here. As you can see, the yeah, album well, pages, page one, two. Um, I love lyrics myself, so I'm a storyteller. So we got lyrics here going. Um, the reapers of the album was not like this. You don't get the lyrics, you don't get all this bonus stuff. This is a out of print copy, well, out of print album. Yeah. Okay. Um, but yeah, Electro Records, you know, uh, Jack Holzman produced this album. Can you believe that? 1972. Okay. Amazing singer songwriter, Eddie Chapman. Um, 
His first hit, like I mentioned, was Taxi. Um, recorded at Electra Sound Recorders in LA. Cheers, by the way, it's a Friday night, so cheers to you. Okay. Having a Citrus IPA. Okay. Shout out to Stone Brewing San Diego. This is one of their new ones. Uh, I'm going to try to have a bad uh, company in PA. But they're good. Uh, the read for now, a big a bookworm here. I'm reading a story on the Mayans. A story, uh, how they lived, really good. I recently saw Apocalypto. Can you believe I just barely saw that movie that came out in 2006? Um, I can't believe I barely saw it. A very sad movie, I'll tell you now. It's a very sad movie. Um, if you go back to your culture, um, it is a sad movie, but it's a great movie. Mel Gibson production, direction, amazing. The acting to me was the best acting in history to me because these people had to act out native tribes acting. Um, none of these actors became big, no. But to me, it's the best acting. To me, it's better than any um, Oscar-winning actor has down. I will go on and say that. Okay. But check out Harry Chapin, Greyhound. Um, there's a song called Sweet Caroline, which came out in 1969, written by Neil Diamond. There's a little intro, uh, uh, the mid-song, the midpoint of this song kind of does that. I don't know if they copied who copied who, but this came out later. This came out in 72. Sweet Caroline came out in 1769, so you might have got the idea from there. But dun, dun, the build up. Dun, 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 that's in this song with Greyhound. And that's in Sweet Caroline as well. So I'm a big fan of Neil Diamond, of course. Uh, check out Live at the Troubadour for Neil Diamond. Again, check out Harry Chapin's, you know, Heads and Tails, Greyhound song, amazing, amazing. Um, you know, he should get more props, he should get more props, Harry Chapin doesn't get enough props. Cats in the Cradle, no one knows who, who sang, who wrote that song, they just know the song. But it was Harry Chapin, this was his first album, 1971, 72, sorry. Um, Poet, spoken word artist, great. Okay. Um, again, thank you for checking out my channel. Hope you uh, delve more into it. Check out my videos on there. Um, I have my own style going. Uh, thank you, VC, for checking it out. And uh, salute to the VC out there. You know, you got a lot of channels out there. Great, great content. Um, you know, I like to keep it not too short but sweet but i like to focus on one thing and i do it for the art for the love of the music um i love music i love talking about music um especially the old gems out there that nobody hears anymore this being one of them okay all right so hope you have a good rest of the weekends holiday weekend have a good labor day don't work too hard or don't work or work maybe we should be working right I'm off, so I'll be, I'll be okay. Um, I might be seeing Counting Crows on Sunday, so looking forward to that. I'm sure uh, Adam Duritz loved uh, Eric Chapman, uh, big, big folk rock uh, fan there. Okay. So I'm hoping to see that. Um, all right, so I'll see you on the next one, and a good Sunday to you. Have a good one. See you Wednesday for the Gothic uh, episode.